What's up guys, MGH here and welcome to a different type of video this evening. Now, I'm just getting ready to start streaming over on Twitch, so at the end of this video, if you could come over and watch me live, that'd be absolutely fantastic. The link is in the description. I normally just do a quick 20 seconds saying I'm streaming, but this team has been personally one of my favourites I've ever put together. So I wanted to make a video, discuss the signings that I've made and basically just discuss why I'm really enjoying this career mode that I've been streaming over the last few weeks. So, uh, well, first of all, let's get into the team. So when I first joined RB Leipzig, they had a lot of decent youngish players that I knew would be okay. They'd be decent, right? But I did know for a fact that I would have to replace quite a lot of their older players. And as you can probably tell, I've actually only kept two players in the first team here, which is Klosterman, who is already at the club when you start, and Kimmich, who of course has signed for Bayern Munich in real life. So he is obviously a potential beast in this game, and uh, he really is. He really is very good. You can tell by his stats here. He's a very well-rounded midfielder. He's a little bit on the short side, um, but he's young. He will grow in real life. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen in-game. But I kept him because I knew he would turn out to be a really good midfielder. And he has. Alongside Neves and Tufan, these three midfielders are absolutely incredible together. They complement each other, each other. Their passing is so good between each other as well. And if you go up to my front three, we've got Lazaro over on the left. Now, normally I go with Forsberg who is actually at the club already. He's a Swedish left, mid left midfielder. But I brought in Lazaro because you guys suggested it on stream, and he has been incredible. And look at his stats. He can play right back as well. This guy is turning into a very, very good player. Paulsen up front, for me, is one of the surprises of the year for me. I know he's good. I've used him once or twice before, but I've never used him for three, four seasons in a row like we are in this stream. He is without doubt one of the most incredibly overpowered players I have ever used. And he's only 76 rated in my career mode. He honestly feels like 85 plus. Um, if I show you why, look at his stats, okay? So he's six foot four. You're probably thinking, well, he's probably a bit sluggish then. Nah, -uh, this guy, he has 88 sprint speed, 90 acceleration, and 81 strength. He is an absolute wrecking ball. His agility is 81 as well, which is just, it's stupid. It shouldn't be. The only thing that lets him down is his balance, but actually doesn't seem to affect him too much. And then you look into his other stats. Okay, his finishing isn't the strongest at 76, but it's very, very decent. And he has the four-star skills, which you can't ask for more in a striker, really. And on the right, you have one of the best right midfielders. Well, one of the, one of the best young right midfielders in the game, in Sisto. This guy is going to be a future star, I'm sure of it. I've seen him play once or twice on YouTube. I've, I, I always watch highlights of young players. And, you know, I like to see how they get on in real games compared to how they feel in FIFA. This guy, I think... He really will be a very good player in the future, and uh, I really like him in this game. 89 dribbling is completely ridiculous, and he's quite strong as well. 65 strength, he's able to really get past the, the back line. Um, now, defence in this team isn't the strongest. We went ahead and signed Grimaldo in the first season for left-back from Barca B. We also got Ihan from Schalke, who is a very good defender. You guys will know him from my Schalke career mode last FIFA. We've then got Klosterman, who is obviously an original player. The reason I've kept him is because, just check, take a look at those stats. This guy is six foot two. He's got 85 sprint speed, 82 acceleration. Not the biggest strength ever, but he, he feels stronger than he actually is, if that makes sense. He is an absolute beast in defense, and he's only 20, so I wanted to keep hold of him. However, in the stream that's going on right now as you're watching this, I am going to be trying to bring in another centre-back. So, who knows who we'll go for. And my most recent signing is Yedvai at right-back. Unfortunately, he got an injury straight away. I think it was a four-month injury. So, he's actually gone down by one, which is a big shame. But he has potential to be very good in this game. On the bench, you've got the lights of Young, who is an original player at the, at the club. You've got Kadira as well. Yes, that's right. That is Sammy Kadira's younger brother. He's 22. We signed Cataldi and Stark. Stark got injured, so he hasn't grown at all. We got Balui for 300,000, which is ridiculous. And there is Forsberg. And Reyna, very underrated player in this game. He's an original player at this club. And look at that. 97 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. He's got 80 dribbling and only 73 finishing for a striker. So I have actually tended to play him out on the wings. 
which as you can see isn't a problem with him. He's a right and a left winger as well as a striker. Now, in terms of the bench, I've lost a lot of players to make money to sign the other players. I haven't used any special tricks or anything like that. I've literally built this squad over three seasons. Um, Compo we've kept. He's going down very quickly. Rodney reminds me of Dante in this game. He's got very similar stats. He's left-footed as well. Got good weak foot. He is starting to go crashing down, so I definitely need a centre-back. We've got Tiger here, who's very, very decent. He's a right back or a right midfielder, and he's only just been replaced by Yedvai, and he does a very good job. We've then got Dem there, or Demi. I'm not sure how you pronounce his, his name there, but he's got some fantastic stats. Look at that stamina, and I really like him. We've got Strauss, Highlander, who we're not using at all. And I went ahead and picked up Berbatov's regen. Now, the thing about Berbatov is in this game is he's really lazy. Luckily, he didn't carry over his work rates. He's actually got a medium attacking work rate instead of a low, low attacking and defensive work rate like Berbatov has. And this guy looks very good, so um, I'll be using him on stream tonight. So I just wanted to talk about it. I, I absolutely love this team. It's been one of my favourite career modes I've ever done. So I'm streaming it right now on twitch.tv slash official MJH. If you could come over and check it out, that'd be absolutely amazing. Um, and that's, that's the team. So hopefully you guys understand it a little bit more when you come out and watch it. And I'll see you over there.